Hello. <clears throat> Good morning. Well, just a, a few minutes here. I'm going to upload a video. And I got the book. The book, the king of all the books. The Holy Scriptures. And I got Matthew here for a verse of the day. Uh, Jesus Christ is in the, in the garden and he's going to be crucified. And it says here, it says, And he went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. And he cometh to his disciples and findeth them asleep, and saith unto Peter, What could ye not watch with me one hour? So, Jesus Christ in the garden didn't want to go to the cross. It's uh, not that he... Uh, cheerily wanted to go and die uh, a ghastly death on the cross. The the cross was uh, an enormous torture uh, method, I suppose you could say. It's uh, got to be the most excruciating way to die. It took days for some of those poor guys to die when they were crucified. But uh, although the Lord Jesus Christ was a very rugged individual, Jesus of Nazareth was a an old-time carpenter that worked outside, lived outside, uh, worked in the rain and the snow and sleet and hail and whatever else. Uh, they get snows in Lebanon. I imagine every once in a while they might even have snow in Jerusalem. And he was from Galilee, from Nazareth, and, and uh, all those points. And he lived a very... Uh, physical, rugged uh, uh, existence up until he was 30 and then he started his ministry and then when he was in his min uh, in the ministry he was uh, walking where pretty well wherever he went and he'd sleep outside in all kinds of weather in perils of uh, wild beasts and, and who knows what. So he's a man's man. He was a, a man among men is the better term to, to, to call him. And so here he is, and he goes a little further, and he falls on his face. He's overwhelmed. He's uh, physically taxed, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, and mentally taxed. And why is that? Is he afraid of the pain? Does he think he's not going to be able to... No, it's not that. Here's the thing. In Isaiah 53... Jesus Christ was uh, voluntarily given to pay for all of sin. And he's perfect. He's the lamb without blemish. He's the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. He's without spot or blemish, no wrinkle, no sin. Jesus Christ is sinless, has always been sinless, will always be sinless, and was sinless at that moment in the garden. And he petitioned his father, uh, the Lord God Jehovah, to let him off the hook. If it's possible, let this cup pass from me. What is that cup? The cup is the cup of God's wrath. The Bible says that when it, it pleased God to bruise him, Isaiah 53, and that when he, he make his soul an offering for sin, the Lord will be satisfied. If you sin, and you do. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> you might be uh, the greatest Christian that ever lived in your own mind. You sin. Paul sinned. If you are religious and you kind of think you're special, you're special all right if you think you don't sin. You sin. You're a sinner. You don't, uh, you're not a sinner because you sin. You sin because you're a sinner. A dog, if I go out into the yard with the dogs and I bark, that doesn't make me a dog. The dogs bark because they're dogs. You sin because you're a sinner. It's just a byproduct of, of what you are. And if you go to hell, you go to hell because of what you are. Not because of anything that you've done. It's a foregone conclusion. Your soul is already headed for hell without the Lord Jesus Christ. So enter the Lord Jesus Christ. And so why was he so emotionally overwrought at the, uh, at the garden? And why did he ask to be 
um, relieved from it. Well, all the sins of mankind from, from Adam up to then and into the future, all my sins, all your sins are going to be placed on him in one horrible moment of time. And while he's hanging on the cross, he says, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why hast thou forsaken me? Because in that terrible moment, he was all alone on the cross. Uh, left alone by the Spirit, left alone by his Father, Jehovah. And he suffered all alone and died. And he went to hell and he left hell and he left sin and left death and he, he, he conquered death. And he spent three days and three nights in Abraham's bosom and rose again the third day and because of that you can be saved my friend you can trust Jesus Christ as your personal Savior you turn to God it's called repentance you turn to God and believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins on the cross he took your place will you do that today Lord Jesus please save me believing that it's not the prayer that saves you it's, it's you trusting what Jesus Christ did for you on the cross and that he rose again from the dead. Okay, I wish you a good day and we'll talk to you again. Bye for now.